Hi everyone, my name is Elsa and I'm a visual designer and the Dilby XD ambassador and I'm finally back with another video. It's been a really long time, I apologize for that. Um, I had technical difficulties with my previous laptop but we're finally back with a new laptop which means hopefully more videos more regularly on my channel so in this particular video i'm going to be going over hyperlinks in adobe xd if you weren't aware xd had an update recently that introduced hyperlinks hyperlinks are essentially um well they're hyperlinks they link you to an external web page um, that the user can access by clicking on a specific element in your design so it's a pretty cool update um, to work with and i kind of just wanted to show you three different ways that you can use hyperlinks in your design in this video so let's jump right into it So I've already opened up my design in XD. It's like a video game platform type of concept. So we're gonna use that as a focal point for seeing the different ways we can add hyperlinks. To start off with, if I scroll down here, I have a section for top games and I have a couple of different games as well as buttons for the user to ideally click on and either learn more about the game or purchase the game, whatever it may be. So we'll start off with the button. So if I click this button, check out and go into prototype mode and I want to add an interaction. So right now you can see that the panel isn't really, you can't click on anything because you haven't added an, inter an interaction to that element. And then like artboards, when you link artboards, the interaction panel automatically, you know, becomes accessible. But if you are adding an interaction to an element, you have to make sure that you either click the plus icon or the arrow and that'll kind of activate the panel so that you can start adding interactions to that element. So it's already set to hyperlink, but it might be in transition or auto animate, depends on what you were doing in XD beforehand, but whatever it may be to set a hyperlink to the element, you just kind of have to make sure you set it to hyperlink under type. And then right here, you would write in your URL. So in this case, I've already looked up Horizon Zero Dawn and I'm just gonna copy this particular link address. So if I go back to XD and I paste it here, our address is pasted and it gives us this little check mark to show that the address is in the right format or it's in a format that XD accepts. So that's great. So obviously let's test this out and make sure that it works accordingly. So if I scroll down and I click check out, it should open up Horizon. And it does. So yay, awesome. We've got our first interaction set. So the second type of link that I want to go over are mail to links. And these are links where if you click that particular element or email address, whatever um, is the trigger, it'll actually open up the default inbox on your device and um, create a new email for you. And under the to or receiver box, it'll input the email associated um, or add it as a hyperlink essentially. So hopefully that description makes sense, but it's a really great way to attach links to email addresses on like a contact form or the contact page on your website or app. Kind of just makes it very easy for a user to click on that and automatically, you know, start writing an email to the sender that you've, um, to the receiver, sorry, recipient that you've set. So we're gonna add that in our footer. So right here I have get in touch, but I don't actually have an email written out yet. So I'm gonna type in an email info at controlzone.com. And with text links, you kinda wanna make sure that you distinguish them enough so that people know that they're clickable, right? Otherwise they're not gonna be able to differentiate them with the other text on your page. So I've just made that purple to distinguish it. And as always, I'm gonna go into your prototype mode um, and then click this plus arrow and in destination, I'm going to write in mail to colon and then the email I want. So control zone dot com. I wrote control z colon dot com. That's actually not what I want. Okay, there we go. So it gives me a little check mark to indicate that this is good. So let's test it out. So if I go to preview, scroll down and click this. Yeah, and just like that, it actually opens up a new email for me and you can see in the to section, it's already put in the email um, that's going to receive whatever email I write. So awesome. And those are mail to links in XD. So the last kind of hyperlink I wanna go over is pretty similar to the first, but it's, you know, 
just to kind of show you different ways that you can uh, use hyperlinks in XD. And this is if you wanted to link somebody to a file for them to download or maybe check out preview, etc., whatever it may be. So the method is pretty much the same as the first one. So first I'm going to create where I want my trigger to be. I think I'm just going to add in a new navigation link here. So I'm actually going to group these first group them and then you can stack them in XD, which means if you add in another element to this group, it's automatically going to kind of fall into place according to the distance parameters you've set. So right now these are all 50 pixels apart. So if I copy this and place it, you'll see it automatically adds it 50 s pixels to the right of um, my last element. And I'm gonna rename this download template. Because you know, why not? And I'm just going to move this in. So for our little download template button, as always, going to double click it to make sure that this particular um, element is selected. And then click our arrow. And here is obviously where we're putting in our URL. So obviously, that means we have to get our URL. I usually use Dropbox for uploading files if I want to host files to share as templates, as you can see, I already have one here, but you can use anything that works for you, of course. I'm going to add in the Among Us templates that I've already kind of set apart on my computer. So it's going to take a bit of time to upload, which is definitely fine, but obviously you don't have to wait because I'm going to fast forward this part one eternity later my internet is not playing games with me today so i was gonna like skip this until it was done and i saw 30 minutes left and i was like i don't think so um we're just gonna use the dog adoption landing page because at the end of the day it doesn't really matter right um and copy the link and then go back to Adobe XD. I'm sorry, I just find it so funny that um, my internet literally just decided mid video recording to try and screw me over, but we move. So back in XD, we're gonna put in the link we just copied right here and preview, click our download template link and it should open up the file um, where the, or rather the page that the link is hosted in. And yeah, just like that, it opens it up. So if you were sharing this with someone for downloading, they'd be able to then just download or open this file, whatever their particular action is that they're supposed to take. But yeah, so that's hyperlinks in XD. Hopefully you found this video helpful and it gave you a better sense of how you can use hyperlinks in your own designs. Um, would love to see the kind of work that you create and how you incorporate them in your work. But yeah, until next time, feel free to comment below if you have any questions or, you know, feedback, whatever it may be. Also, feel free to like and subscribe if you like the content as well. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.